How the Middle Ages affected the Renaissance. Literature. Middle Ages had an emphasis on a blend of fantasy and reality, including a religious overtone as well as characters having human traits but personalities being represented as fictitious leaders like gods or saints. The Renaissance saw a shift towards classical civilizations like Greeks, as well as a here and now approach. The Renaissance illustrated humanism, and their literature had values of dreams, knowledge, and a high realm of thought. The Renaissance also had stories that were oriented, oriented more on character than adventure, and during the Renaissance, the invention of the printing press came about, allowing more than just the wealthy to read. Humanism, build or break. The Renaissance era breaks away from the idea of the Middle Ages. The Renaissance, although still heavily influenced by religion, began to take a more logical approach that valued the individual rather than the herd. This was accomplished through the expansion of art, which began in Florence, Italy. Because of the newfound love for liberal arts, those living in the Renaissance began to have a brighter look on life. The people of the Renaissance started asking themselves more questions revolving around philosophy, Greek civilization, and methods of reasoning, rather than the approach taken in the Middle Ages, where most questions had to do with religion. Example, what happens when we die? How many angels are there in heaven? Because of this slight but effective shift away from religion, the concept of humanism was valued more than supernatural matters. Support, Hamlet. Hamlet focuses heavily on character development. This can be seen as the theme of madness that follows Hamlet th throughout the play. Humanism focuses on the individual, in this case Hamlet, as well as the character over the story. Hamlet is given a more central role than the story itself, as seen in the soliloquy in Act 3, Scene 1. To be or not to be, that is the question. Shakespeare, Act 3, Scene 1. This small but famous portion of one of Hamlet's soliloquies highlights the idea that human thought, through suicide contemplation, becoming more relevant and interesting as the Renaissance period brought humanism forward. Hamlet's battle with his own mind highlighted the theme of humanism and its effect on literature from the Middle Ages to the Renaissance. Support, the passionate shepherd to his love. The shepherd calls to his love, asking her to come and live with him in the rural countryside. This highlights the aspect of here and now in relation to humanism. The shepherd tells his love of all the beauties in the countryside in an attempt to get her to leave her current life for the life of beauty in the rural setting. A belt of straw and ivy buds with coral clasps and amber studs. And if these pleasures may thee move, come live with me and be my love. Marlowe, line 1620. This theme of suggesting spontaneous action highlights the humanism aspect of the Renaissance and how it differed from the literature of the Middle Ages. Support, to the virgins, to make much of time. To the virgins, make much of time highlights here and now aspect of humanism as well. This can be seen here. Old time is still flying, and the same flower that smiles today, tomorrow will be dying. Herrick, lines 2-4. to four. This represents the virginity of youthful women during the Renaissance. Herrick encourages women to act now while they're young instead of letting time ruin their beauty. This idea of acting in the present rather than in the past or future is a large connection to humanism. This example of humanistic approach in literature during the Renaissance contrasts the difference between humanistic literature, as seen during the Renaissance, to literature in the Middle Ages. Shakespeare's Merchant of Venice Humanism can be seen in the Merchant of Venice in Shakespeare's setting. Venice, where the play takes place, is the newfound trading capital of Europe, and as a result, a supply of endless ducats flows into the city. The new social class of merchants is a historical example and signal for the Renaissance. Even though even there were merchants most do congregate on me, my bargains, and my well-won thrift. Shakespeare, Act 1, Scene 3. Shylock, bragging about his abundance of money, shows that the merchant class was well into effect. This affected literature in the forms of general plots and stories. With the new social class, many new stories could be made, including this one. The historical example of merchants represented humanism and shows the difference in literature between the Middle Ages and the Renaissance. Shakespeare's Romeo and Juliet Shakespeare's Romeo and Juliet represents humanism through a higher realm of thought. Romeo and Juliet belong to rival families who show one another no mercy. However, despite these circumstances, Romeo and Juliet fall, de fall in deep and faithful love. This shows the humanistic way of thinking in a higher realm. Despite social detriments imposed on Romeo and Juliet's relationship, they just they give themselves to one another completely, all the way up to death. Thus with a kiss I die. Shakespeare, Act 5, Scene 3. This idea of valuing love over death represents the humanistic approach to higher states of thinking. Romeo and Juliet are able to put grudges aside and focus on what they want most, each other. This shows the distinction between the ways that thoughts were processed in Middle Age literature and Renaissance literature. Literature in the Middle Ages, The Divine Comedy, Inferno In Dante's Inferno, Dante, an average man, is faced with a supernatural adventure. This represents the Middle Ages' way of literature, an average man with a supernatural and religious undertone combined to make an adventure-focused plot. This can be seen in Dante's writing here. 
the heavens, that their beauty not be lessened, have cast them out, nor will deep hell receive them, even the wicked cannot glory in them. Allegari Inferno Scene 3 In this context, Dante is describing those sent to limbo, focusing on a religious theme rather than Dante himself. In a humanistic piece of literature, the author might describe the effect that this sight had on Dante, rather than just depicting the visuals of it. For these reasons, Dante's Inferno shows the distinct line between literature in the Middle Ages to that of the literature during the Renaissance period. Literature in the Middle Ages, Decameron, the Tenth Day, Tenth Story. In Giovanni Boccaccio's Decameron, Tenth Day, Tenth Story, the common Middle Age literary technique of representing the protagonist as a saint can show juxtaposition between Middle Age literature and Renaissance literature. In this story, Guttali leads, treats his wife, Grisilda, terribly to test her commitment. Despite this, Giltari is made out to be a saint, as seen here. Wondrous was the cheer which they were made with all the children, and all overjoyed at the event, and most discreet beyond all compare they encountered Grisilda. Picasso, Tenth Day, Tenth Tale. This representation of Gotalio's character as a saint shows how Middle Age literature would often hold the personalities of the protagonists to a godlike or saintlike level. This example of literature highlights the distinction between humanistic approach from Renaissance compared to literature from the Middle Ages. Bibliography.